Welcome to another FL Studio 21 Beginners Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about the playlist. We are going to be looking at what the playlist is used for, how to organize it, how to navigate the playlist, and how to customize it. So if you are a beginner, consider subscribing. So the playlist is where you place, play and arrange the elements of your project to make a final song. You can add any type of clip, whether an audio clip, a MIDI clip or an automation clip anywhere to make an arrangement. So this means that the playlist is not bound to a particular instrument, sample and clips. Before we start, we are going to switch this to song mode so that we can hear what the playlist is playing. So the first thing we have is the main menu. This is where you access functions that is used to organize and work with the playlist, like edit, tools, view, snap, select, group, zoom, time marker, clip source, performance mode, playhead, and detach options. Next thing here is the toolbar, which consists of the playlist snap, which is used to snap clips to grid. This helps divide the playlist into bars and steps so that you can easily see the timing of your song and where everything is supposed to be. So you can use it to line up your audio patterns as well as your MIDI. Here we have the draw tool, which is used to place a clip anywhere you want, just by selecting it and right-clicking to use. Next is the paint tool that allows us to hold left-click and add multiple clips at the same time. Next we have the delete tool that deletes a clip we select. Then we have the mute button that mutes the clip we select. And the slip edit that is used to slide the clip's content left or right relative to the timeline while retaining the start or end points of the clip. Then the slice tool that helps us chop different clips at the same time or individually by also selecting it and right-clicking to use. Next, we have the Selection tool. This is used to select one or more clips. Next, we have the Zoom tool that helps us to zoom in by left-clicking and zoom out by right-clicking. Next, we have the Playback tool that is used to play a particular clip or group of clip at any time by selecting it and left-clicking. Then we have the play and pause, or you can just use the spacebar on your computer. That's all for the toolbar. Next, we have the arrangements. This is where you manage different versions of your project. For example, if you want to try a different arrangement for your project, you can just click here to get an empty clips track area, where you can add your clips to make new arrangements and still keep the old one. Then we have the Clip Source menu. This shows the clips that are available to be added or placed in the playlist. You can use the scroll bar here to zoom in and zoom out, and you can use the one at the right to go up and down. Next we have the Timeline. This is used to make a vertical selection across all tracks, and you can also add something called Time Markers by right. Clicking on the Timeline, and select Add Marker. This can be used as an indicator, for example, to indicate the start, bridge, hook, and verse of a song. This green marker moves along in the song, showing where you are in the song, and you can also use it to move to a certain part of the song. Here is where we add our clips, such as audio patterns, midis, and samples. To add a clip, just choose between the Draw tool or Paint tool, go to the Clip Source menu, and then left-click to add the clip you want. Or just drag and drop from the Picker panel, which is like the Clips Manager. It shows all the clips in the project, and it is organized according to pattern clips for all patterns. 
audio clips for every audio clips you have in your project, and then automations. As a beginner, I know you don't know what an automation is, so I'm going to be making a detailed video on it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, because it helps our channel a lot, and leave a comment. Also, check out other FL Studio 21 beginners tutorials in our channel, like how to use the channel rack and how to use the piano roll. Up here you see the clip focus. You may confuse this with the picker panel because they have the same icons, but this is used to focus on a particular clip type, either the audio clips, pattern clips, or the automation clips. This is used when clips are stacked. When a clip type is selected, the clips associated with it is brought to the top for selection and editing. Now when you click on any icon, the little icons under it changes. For the audio we have, the show fades, zero cross and stretch. For the automation we have the step and slide, and for the pattern we have the note, channel, and the pattern. Here, we have the add track. This is used to add an instrument track into the playlist. For example, if you want to add an FL keys into the playlist, just click on it, select FL keys, and now add your notes. Next, we have the playlist track header. If you right click here, you can change the name, color, icon, size of the particular track. In the track header, we have the mute button. This is used to mute a track just by left clicking. But if you right click, it mutes every other track except the one you clicked on. Then here we have the track selector. When this is lit, it means the track is selected. To select a particular portion of a clip, you can either drag it or you can use the slice tool to cut the clip.